Taylor Morning Show. Podcast. If you're new to the show, here's how War of the Roses works. You think the person you're with might be up to something. Instead of just kind of waiting and hoping things work out and having that kind of anxiety, mm-hmm. we try to rip the bandaid off so at least you know in that moment, hopefully, yes or no. By the way, if you catch anything we miss, please text 99338. Let's do it. Roses are red. Violets are blue. When we call your man, he'd better choose you. Let's do this. Chloe, good morning. Hey, how are you? Doing well, thank you. Let's um get right into the thick of things here with War of the Roses. You and Liam have been together for how long? Um, So we've been together, uh, actually, like over a year now. Okay. okay. You feel like, or you know, for sure. That he's the one? No, no. Did you say you feel like it's been over a year, or do you know for sure it's been over a year? No, I mean, like, I'm just thinking back. I'm like, oh, my God, it's legitimately, like, like over 14 months. Okay. It's a long okay. time. Okay. You know? Yeah. And so um, we don't live together. Nope. But his place is kind of the jump off for why we think something might be up. Is that fair to say? Uh, yeah, I, I, I guess so. I mean, <laughs> that's why okay. I'm here. Okay. Um, but, yeah, at his house, because that's, I have roommates, right? So yeah. it's just easier um, at his place. And anyway, so, like, Every once in a while, like, I'll be making the bed or whatever, and I'll, like, pull something up from, like, behind the, the headboard or whatever, and I'm like, what is this, like, sports bra? That's, and he's like, I don't know, isn't it yours? And I'm like, uh, no, definitely, mine are not going to fit in this little tiny little thing. Sure. <laughs> and so uh, I, he's like, well, I don't know. I, 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 all I can tell you is it's probably, like, old, you know, like, from a long time ago, from way before we were together. And I was like... Okay. okay, I mean that's pretty, you know, like open about it, not denying it or anything. And, like, so and I, this is this is gonna. You said you found it between the headboards. Yeah. This is gonna sound gross, but and as a guy, that's plausible that he would not have cleaned out his headboards or like that deep of a clean. That is really and for, gross. Like it, but it's plausible, not the cleanest thing. Plausible. So we found mm-hmm. like a sports bra. We found other clothes, other places. Um, yeah, like, just, just a couple, just, like, two other things. It's not like, oh, my God, it's a whole wardrobe. Okay. Where, where, the, okay. What items of clothing were they? Um, like, more, you know, intimate stuff. Okay. Like, the, like a nighty little, not sure. like a lingerie, but like a little nighty gown and, and then a, um, a song. And, okay. And, and his uh, logic for all of it's been, this was... He thought it was yours, but if it's not yours, oh, it must have been from before we were dating. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I mean, every time he's like, legit, okay. I don't know, I guess it's old. It, and again, like, I, plausible. It is plausible. I don't think dudes pay that much of attention. So, it like, if somebody from, I wouldn't even know, like a, like a high school girlfriend, if there's, if you took a, a shirt my high school girlfriend had and put it in my closet, I probably wouldn't realize. Seriously? Yeah, because we just don't pay attention to that kind of stuff. It would just not. Oh, so, okay. So, well, yeah, we now, should. yeah. So let's, <laughs> let's do this. Uh, let's do this, Chloe. We'll call Liam. We'll offer him the flowers. Obviously, she go to you. If they don't, we'll get some answers, okay? Okay. All right, War of the Roses on your morning show. Sleezing and teasing. All right, hold on. It's so War of the Roses on your morning show. Chloe, I'm going to recap what we know and then kind of recap the conversation we just had off the air. So you and Liam been together about 14 months, right? Yep. Uh, don't live together, but in the past uh, couple of weeks or so, we started finding items of clothing around his place that's not yours. There's something between the headboards. There's been other more intimate uh, things. He didn't act um, defensive about it, but basically said, hey, I thought those were yours. If they're not yours, they must be from somebody else before, like before we started dating, right? Yes. To which I said, is plausible. And I know it sounds wild, but for dudes, we just don't necessarily you pay attention. Don't pay attention. At yeah. And, and like, and especially if you're not doing anything wrong, but even more so, be like, oh, it must be, must be Chloe's. But yeah. Chloe, yeah. you left out some important details uh, that we were talking about during the uh, the song. So, doing War of the Roses was not your idea. Is that is that fair to say? Uh, yeah. That, okay. That's, so, that's so yep. who who was wanting to do War of the Roses? Um, it's really more like these couple of girlfriends of mine because they heard 
another War of the Roses, and they were like, I have an idea. Okay. And I was like, oh. So they heard the one from Monday with the sister who um, kind of pushed brother and doing roses. Yeah, yeah, that's the one where they okay. were like, see, the, the sister was doing it, so we're going to like have okay. to do this because it's so weird. So there's a couple of details that you left out, too, though. So your family and friends don't like him. Not, not even just because of the clothes stuff, but for other reasons. So why isn't family and friends like him? Um, they just don't, they don't think he's, like, quite on the level. Like, he's just, like, a little distant. He doesn't really, like, fully engage with everybody. And so that makes him think, like, oh, maybe he's not going to be true or faithful to you. Okay. And, it, you know, it, it sounds like he's, like, well, a... Well, let's mention, too, that there's sometimes we can't get a hold of him for 24 hours. Oh. Um, well, I sometimes have trouble reaching him. Okay. He doesn't always pick up his phone. Sure. I mean, he's, he's pretty good about texting and stuff. Okay. But, like, yeah. So, hard. again, like, we don't have to go through with this, but it sounds, if, if you want to, we'll do it. But, like, when you combine all the facts of, like, if, do your family and friends know about the women's clothes at his house or they have no idea? No, they. That's totally the reason that this is all happening. But but do, but do they know about it? I mean, no, not they don't. They don't know like exactly what it was. I just okay. like, the so, clothes, so, so, so friends and family didn't like him aside from that issue. Yeah, because they tended to, you know, he, because he disappeared. Like one okay. time, there was this time he like disappeared for like five days, and they were like, "That's okay. not cool." Okay, well it's now that sad. that is that is not cool. Okay, so let me do this thing, Chloe. I'll call him. I'm gonna offer him the flowers. They should go to you, being his girlfriend of a year plus. If they go, uh, if he sends them to you, uh, we'll put my hold and see what you want to do. If they go to somebody else, we'll get answers for you, okay? Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Hold on one second. Um, some minor, minor details. Um, but here we go. I still say, too, though, it, you know, as far as the close goes, I don't think any dude have any idea. So. Yeah, but... Yes. Uh, we pay attention to things we shouldn't, and the things we should, sometimes we just, you know. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Hello? Calling for Liam? Yeah, this is Liam. Hey, Liam, my name is Chris with YMS Flowers. How are you? I'm doing all right. How are you? Doing good, man. Listen, we're, I'll get right to it. We're a local flower shop in the area doing some uh, grill marketing, some door-to-door -door, uh, virtual, if you will. You popped up on my list here as somebody who may be interested in a free bouquet of a dozen red roses. And I'm here to say, hey, we're here to make your dreams come true. I have a free bouquet of a dozen red roses to send to anybody in the United States. Uh, no charge to you. The idea is we want to plant our seed in use so that when it sprouts down the line, you, uh, the person you send flowers to is so enamored, they're so over the top in love, that you come back looking for more from us. So I'd love to do this uh, on your behalf. Okay, awesome. That sounds good to me. Oh, perfect. Okay. And so the I got a card here that is uh, about 200 characters, the size of a tweet. And uh, I've seen the first name of the person you want to send the flowers to. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and send them to Chloe. And uh, you can just make it say something like, Chloe, I love you. You're my one and only. Uh, something like that would be perfect. Okay. Chloe, I love you. You are my one and only. And then, exactly. And sign it how? Love Liam. Love Liam. Okay. Um, can I push you hold just one second, the process? Sure. Chloe? Why did that sound so suspicious? Yeah, I'm here. Chloe, what I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you something. And he seemed that usually it takes a little bit of grease in the wheel, so to speak. Did you tell Liam that we're going to do War of the Roses? Oh, no, I, don't think, I don't even think he knows what War of the Roses is. Okay. But, but you didn't tip him off that your friends and family thought something was up? Oh, no, no, no. Why would I do something like that? I, would, I don't have a need to do that. All right. Uh, let me try one thing. Hey, uh, Liam? Yeah? We, we're doing a memory test here. What's my name? Uh, John. Hmm. Chloe, oh I... Oh, my gosh. Chloe, did you, it doesn't help us or help you if you tip off your boyfriend that you're doing War of the Roses. Well, the whole thing 
just seemed kind of unfair. Like, everybody was sort of... Yeah, but, 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 Chloe, like, it's not fair to you if he's cheating, though. Yeah, but it's me. I'm the one. Like, why? You see what I mean? Like, if I'm the one worried about it, then fine. But, like, he was... He was... I didn't get a bad vibe when he said that it was old. And I think people just, like, overreact. Okay. And look. Yeah. He said he to send it to me, right? I mean, we're good, right, Lee? Okay. Liam... You know what's going on, Liam, obviously, right? No. You have no idea you have no idea what's going on right now. No idea. I thought I was giving flowers to Chloe. Okay. Uh-huh. War of the Roses is pre-taped and possibly edited for broadcast with permission granted from all participants. Want more roses? Go to YMSradio.com. Ah, War of the Roses on your morning show. We'll love your thoughts. 99338 to text. Or 877-995-4681 to call. In Germantown, Natalie, good morning. Hi, good morning. You heard War of the Roses. What do you want to say? So I think I'm going to send that to my friend because she reminds me exactly of her. Oh, girl. So your plan is to send this to your bestie and be like, oh, my gosh, this is so crazy. Could you imagine doing this? Yeah, exactly. Okay. I wish you the best of luck. Natalie, thank you for calling. Have a great day. Thank you, too. In everything celebs, music, TV, Rose has the entertainment report coming next. What you got for us? Jeremy Renner's first sit-down interview is coming out and whoop, looks emotional. First request to Bieber and Sorry on your morning show. You gotta go and get angry at all of my... If I miss it on the show, I download the podcast. Your morning show.